What's up, everyone? I um, you know, hope you all been good. There hasn't really been much content. I've just been kind of plugging away at this game uh, and doing my own thing. Um, you know, there's been a lot of, uh, you know, new content uh, that has come out. Some that is pretty amazing. Others that just takes more time. Um, so what do we have here? We have a new faction, the Sylvan Watchers. And if you haven't had a chance to go through these, take a look at them. They are absolutely stunning. It's one thing you got to credit Raid for. They made some pretty darn looking, good looking champions. Um, and, you know, when you have champions that just look this cool and their animations are even cooler, it just makes this game that much better. Um, you know, I've played other games and the graphics just haven't been up to par and it just gives a totally different feeling. Um, so that's what we got right now. What's going on at this point? We have this new fusion, uh, Morgane, you know, very mixed reviews for me, the way I see it, uh, really this A3 is the only good thing about her. I have a Lysandra. I have zero intent of getting Morgane. And Lysandra does this skill better. Um, it's a 30% for on the Lysandra. Uh, increase and decrease turn meters. Uh, plus she also has a faster spe speed aura at 30, I think it's 30%. So she's much better of a champion. She also has a full depletion of turn meter on her A2. Um, and a transfer of buffs, or debuffs, sorry, on her A1. This is a decrease speed, which is great. Except... There are rare champions that do this better. I'm only going for um, Orn here. Uh, just although, yes, he got a little nerf. Uh, he's still, just like the Eurogrim, still pretty good. A good duo champion. Um, one that, if uh, geared right, can still solo. Takes a little longer, but still a great champion. And quite frankly, you're going to have to start filling up your faction guardians. You're going to have to, at some point, do uh, Faction Wars. So I'm thinking maybe get 1 to 50, 1 to 60, have a couple of these on my roster, um, and just be prepared in case Faction Wars does come out. Um, they, The two of them should get me quite far in, the, in Faction Wars without really having to worry about anything else. So that is really my goal for um, this the new faction. I have a gut feeling that just like when Shadowkin came out and uh, Yoshi the Drunk Art was the very first fusion at that time, or um, I think it was a fusion, uh, may have been a fragment, but uh, you know that was the very first legendary champion in the Shadowkin fashion that you could just farm and get for free. Took you some energy, took you some resources. I feel right after this one, there's going to be a Sylvan um, faction legendary champion that's going to be launched in the um, in a fragment, and therefore probably some more rares and epics, or just a full old fragment one champion, and at least it gives you a jump start for that faction. Now, if you haven't gotten Lydia by this point, um, keep pushing. Keep doing it. Um, all it takes is some gear swapping and and some luck and um, just some patience. You can do it. Uh, but once Sylvan faction comes out, it's going to be one more faction you need to complete in order to pull Lydia. So if you can do that, great. What else is going on in this game? Iron Twins is going on. Um, very hit and miss. I hear a lot of people saying it sucks. I hear a lot of people saying... Um, you know, it's great. Some people refresh keys. Some people don't. I only refresh keys. A, if I don't struggle, <laughs> if I go through 15 and I don't struggle, I'll refresh my keys, uh, or B every Sunday, regardless. I am on a killable team. I'll just show you my team setup. So I removed my other twins, but I have these two teams here. So this is the team I was using. Uh, Hell Hades uses a similar team setup. Uh, we have the bishop going first for uh, accuracy aura, plus the buffs, plus some heals. 
Um, I didn't get lucky on my books to book them out. Uh, I actually got very unlucky. Um, and now I just need to max them out, max book them out in order to max to get the cooldown on the heel. Uh, if I do, this team may work a little bit better. Uh, I've pulled Aox's gear off uh, and put it on my Volgoth. So the team up here is my new team. Um, we have Mithrala putting up some cleansing, some shielding, some buffs, but all those poisons. We have three healers, healer on an A1, healer on an A2 that extends buffs. Um, we have a healer on a passive, and then we have a healer when hit. But also Vogoth increases the duration of random debuffs when hit on a three-turn hit uh, on, on um, the A1. So the goal here is I get, if I get lucky on the extends, then my burns extend. Uh, Aox, the cool thing about Aox is every time he's hit, extends two buffs. So you try to really no debuffs, no debuffs, no debuffs. Uh, a um, I turn off um, Aox's a so I turn off Aox's uh, a three here because he puts out two debuffs that I don't want him to extend that passive two random debuffs. So if you can get the burn out there. That's one. Typically, you'll also get a weaken from Geomancer. There's your two. Um, just got to be careful here. That A1, and this is why I got lucky, didn't book it out. But 10% chance, if a poison does get out there, that's when my debuff drops, and that's really when this team fails. I've kept it here, but so far, this healing team has worked better for me. There are some affinities where, like Spirit, uh, Geomancer just dies too quickly. Um so uh, for spirit affinity, it may take me a little longer. What else is going on? Um, I just actually completed uh, finishing this gold. Great haul. It looks great. All gold. Um, it's taken me forever. Every CVC I get, I've always gotten two ranks up. Um, you know, it's only been a couple of days since the last CVC. I've been slacking a little, been busy at work, but... Uh, um, once a week, I could probably get one of these leveled up. So every CVC, I get two leveled up. But the real thing that's going on um, at this moment and the purpose of this video is two times legendary or sacred shards. So there's a 12% chance of getting a legendary um, and also a 10 times chance of getting Mishinaki. Now, Mishinaki, I really wished he was... Uh, you know, it was a 10 time chaps for a Sylvan champion, but here we are pretty darn cool and um, cool looking champ, like perfect for Halloween, a hundred percent. Like they were sitting on this guy for Halloween, a hundred percent. A1 has a 50 booked up to 60 plus mastery, 65% chance at placing an HP burn on an A1 for two turns. That means it's it's virtually constantly up. You're always going to have an HP burn on a, a single champion every single time. The A2 here attacks all enemies, so an AoE, decreased defense, and a decreased attack um, at 100% chance. The decreased attack is if they have a hex. However, here on the A3 places that hex. It's a two-turn hit. First turn cleanses all the... Um, Buffs on the enemy, great for Hydra, great for um, Arena as well if you're short a cleanser, and then puts out a Hex on the second hit. Therefore, you go into that A2 where you're putting a decreased attack and a decreased defense out because of Hex. And if a champ has a Hex, it's 50-50 chance that he's going to join in on a fight. So if you hit somebody with Hex, he's going to join in with that A1. So there's that constant burns going out. On Hydra heads, especially with AoE champions, you're hitting them. He's popping off left, right, and left, and right, and placing those um, those burns. And the more attacks you get out, um, you know, especially like a an Inquisitor, Shamel with that Fear Head, you know, it's uh, every time a debuff is placed, Shamel is counterattacking, which means fifty percent chance that Mishinaki is counterattacking as well. And you can see how damage is just exploding at that point. Clan boss, 
Uh, you get the Hex out. Hex also has the increased damage. If you get somebody that puts a Weaken out on your team, Weaken, decrease the defense, and Hex. Plus, this dude is counterattacking every time you're hitting the boss. It's it's amazing. Um, Stat-wise, he is a defense-based champ. However, and Clan Boss has been really good to me lately. Clan Boss has been, and I've been saving. I haven't been. I think I've used two uh, for the uh, Marinix um, fusion um, or the last fusion that we had. I just used two Sacreds just to top up my points. Um, but Clan Boss has actually really been good to me, and almost virtually every day I've gotten a, a Sacred, except for today. Um, I, at this point, I kind of almost wish I had books over Sacreds. But I'm not complaining. It's a two times and a ten times. I pulled three shards. Uh, sorry, five shards on my uh, over my three different free to play accounts, and I've gotten absolutely nothing. Even though it's been ten times, even though I've uh, sorry two times, and even though I'm well into you know pulling shards on those free to plays, I've yet to get a legendary champion on those accounts. I'm not really looking for much. I also don't feel like blowing all my shards on this champion. I do want to, though, pull a few um, just to see where I am. So what I'm going to do is we are either going to pull until we get a legendary or until I hit seven. So until I use half of my shards. Okay. If I don't get a legendary in seven shards at a two times, that would suck. So I just pulled up my mercy. I'm at zero. So I really am hoping that if I could pull this dude, Mishinaki, great. You know, I definitely am going to find place for them, uh, for him. I'm not holding my breath. Let's see what happens. Kurang actually um, was a great champion. Um, if you're still struggling with the Lizardman, it's probably one of the harder ones to do. Um, Wuji was a part of the last, uh, one of the last fusions, but not the champs we're looking for at this point. We're now three shards in. Um, I don't even know what to consider that other than a chicken. Annex is a great champ if you need. But again, not something I need. This is two times, right? What's going on? Seven, seven sacred shards at a two times chance. You witnessed it here first. This game. This I just blew seven shards and got absolutely nothing on a two times legendary day. One more for the video. Catch you all in the next video. Take care, everyone.